Let's unlock time to level up. Hello, everyone. My name is Cap Kev, but you can call me Kevin. And today I'm here with my co-host once again, Zach Attack. 81397. That's an interesting name, man. How did you come up with that? Do not have a freaking meltdown like last episode, apparently. when it, I seen your video. Why can't you just instantly just think of something? It's, it's improv, man. You literally took a freaking you, acting class for non-acting majors. That's improv, man. Just freaking say like, oh, I named my Minecraft dog you, after it. Oh, man, the freaking... You, you, you want to know how I got this name, Kevin? You want to know how I got this name? You're gonna be saying a lot I'll of stories every episode, so make something up. <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you how I got this name. When I was a young lad, I was training to be um, a warrior, and I was so skilled at fighting. Oh, was I supposed to follow you? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, sorry. I was taking when a I drink. When I was so skilled at fighting. Um, <laughs> they said, man, Zach can attack, and I became Zach Attack. The The numbers on my name are the amount of people I have killed, so, uh, 81,397 <laughs> oh kills. Okay. <laughs> You'll be the next one. You'll be the next one! Dude, I gotta eat, because okay. I need a health to get my health up. I gotta eat. What have we got in here? Well, you stole all my goddamn food last one, so... Don't we have carrots? <laughs> we got it before we... Don't! They're not ready to harvest yet. Well, I need something to eat, but anyway... I will give I will give you my chicken. While you go do sheer, that... Sheer generosity. Sheer generosity. While you go do that... One chicken. Oh, thank you. I just freaking burped, too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hang on. Let me, let me eat real quick, because we're getting off topic now. Okay, go. go okay. So, anyway... Our audience members, as you listen today, we have today's topic of just of just behind the scenes. We're just going to talk about life with me and Zach, how everything's been going. But I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys a chance to to, to guess. We're going to do a guessing game right now between the two of us. Who is the happiest and who is the most depressed right now? I'll give you a chance. Clock is ticking right now. Okay, did, okay, you give up. It's it's me. I'm the depressed one. Zach's a happy one. I know. It's kind of crazy after his meltdown last episode. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm so happy that um, um, I'm happy. You're happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. So who wants to start? Um, do you want to go first? Or do you want me to just dive in yeah, with, with I'm, my stuff? I'm going to let you take the lead on this one. All right. Um, just like I took the lead on the last one, I'll let you. So I'll let you do it. So in life, it's it's very nowadays. It just seems very hard to be happy all the time. And and when I look at Zach, you know, Zach is making progress with with his life. He is a he is a store manager. For a retail, I can't do retail. I would freaking die, die. So kudos to him. He's being, he's a strong person right now, mentally. Mentally, not physically. I seen him in person. <laughs> he's scrawny. Thanks. He's short. But I'll have you know, sir, I'm a black belt. <laughs> I will kick your ass. Are you really a black belt? Yeah, I don't think you have told me that. Are you seriously a black I belt? I am, sir. Oh, I'm going to die. Yes, but I am. You're certified black belt in. In martial arts, you don't know which one it is, but so when we look it's at karate, so, so yes, he's he's kung fu, kung fu. He's and if you want to know the actual name in the Japanese style, it is Shore Goju, sir. Jeez, I'm learning stuff today now about you know. Zach. That's pretty. That's pretty intense. <laughs> so when I look at Zach, he's mentally happy. He can show that that like he's happy. He doesn't have to like make. Put a put a happy mask on. He can he he's he's mentally prepared to stay happy. Even 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 if something bad happens, he knows how to pull himself out of the, out of that funk. And he's he's making progress. He's making making bank. He's got a house. He's got a fiance. He's soon to be get get married. And here I am, struggling to find find my happiness. It's been it's been almost a year of just 
constant, constant sadness, constant rejection, constant depression. Like, when I get happy, it instantly gets taken away because people don't want to see me to be happy, you know? Back in August, I got once again broken hearted I guess you can say I had I want something I wanted to, I want like an intense term Zach can you think of an, an intense term more than broken hearted heartbroken um oh god I know I know I put I put myself on the spot there because I was trying to think of something like you know more like oh ow I want them to feel it but that all I can think of is broken hearted and I thought to myself that, you know, we were going to make this work out very well again and oh, stuff. Like hold that. on. A anguished, devastated, heavy hearted, suffering, inconsolable. No, you were shattered. Shattered. I like that. that. Shattered. <laughs> you probably Googled <laughs> this, didn't you? Um, I did not type in heartbroken thesaurus. Okay. And that was all me. Okay, sure. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Only if you were doing face cams and then like he just has a phone right here like, ah, this, that. Or <laughs> actually it would have been actually really funny if he pulled out a dictionary and just scrolled to like stuff. Like, hmm, lick book. the finger, flip yeah. the page. Lick, yeah, lick, <laughs> yeah, lick the finger, do that all stuff. Yeah, so back in August, everything took took another turn on me. And I thought that, like, you know, we could stay connected when she went off to do a job out of out of state. You know, here's the here's the thing, too, that I see a lot, a lot of a lot of days now with relationships is people don't want to be dedicated. People people choose <clears throat> nothing against people. OK, OK, for, for for disclosure, I'm not throwing shade. It's just what I have experienced is that people don't don't want, don't want to feel dedicated. They feel like they're they are trapped. They feel like they're losing what they want, what they what they truly believe they want to be. But in the end, it feels like you know they they complain that like oh I'm so single, I'm so this, I'm so that. It's like because when someone opens up. And when you finally get that, you get scared and you flee the state because you're too scared of being committed. You feel like you're 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 trapped. Wouldn't you say? I you know I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, um, I think some people handle also why commitment is it, and things differently. Why is it so hard to just reply to a message too? Like if you're at work, okay, I get it. But it's like if you have time, like you should have time to like. Reply back. You shouldn't. You shouldn't just like make them wait for like four. Let's just go with four days. Like, oops, I'm sorry, I forgot that that you sent me a message. Like, are we sure about that? You sure about that? So that's one of the things. And then like, you know, it takes time a lot too when you get shattered. Some people can instantly do it within a day. Some people can do it with a week, a month. Me, I would say probably a year. From experience, when you the healing progress of going through a lot is it takes I feel like it I, I heal within a year. You could probably take a little longer, but like when that year hits, you start to realize, you know, maybe it's truly not gonna the the thing you're hoping for was not gonna happen. You know, I wanna say not not kinda going off a topic, but one thing is I know you are looking for commitment. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's hard to find committed mm -hmm. partners nowadays. Yeah, it is. Now, is that just me or? No, no, I feel like it. I, I feel like it is. But, you know, some people are going to try to defend, defend themselves. Like, no, no, because I, because I want this, like, certain person, this certain standard. Like, I, I even recently had a friend he was a close friend to me. Stop being my friend. He sent me a long ass text message of j and throwing shade at me, and I just feel like that that like this was all. It, it felt like false information because I did not do do any of this. 
during during that date because he kept bringing up the certain dates. Like no, and then he kept saying that I have standards in like in like women. It's oh they always got to be like the in shape fit women. It's like dude, if you want to truly know my standard, and this is gonna throw a lot of people off. If I really stuck to my standard, I would keep on searching. I would I would be digging for that treasure and come up short every single time. Zach, do you want to know what my true standard is in a in a woman? What? Freaking! I would love to have an emo cosplay girlfriend. Don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just so. It's just so weird. But you know, it's like that's never gonna happen because 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 your standards that you look for, they're not. They're never gonna be true. So that's why you got to expand out more. Like I've had. I've had lazy girlfriends i've had active girlfriends i've had outdoor girlfriends i've had somewhat anime anime watching girlfriends i've had i've had the slutty ones sorry for that term but it's like it's true i even it had i even had a girlfriend once we broke up she went in, she went into to the career of strippers um, I didn't know about that one. You didn't know? You don't remember that one? No. Really? I thought I thought I told you that. I literally once we like broke up. You know, she was apparently more heart heartbroken than I was. Whatever. But then, like, I guess I guess the way to get to get over it <laughs> was to go was to go into the industry of stripping. She needed to seek the attention from other men. Pretty, pretty much. Now, now she has a kid. Kudos to her. Good, g- good luck. Good luck with that. Um, but she has been through a lot of relationships, and I don't know if it's her breaking up with them or something. But, and I don't know if she is still with the person that gave her that kid. You know, that's a lot of things too. That's another thing too, which is hard of committing is when someone is single and they have a kid. Like I have nothing against single single moms but it's just like i'm at the age where i don't believe i'm ready to to have the privilege or th- i i don't know if that's the correct word cuz i want to say authority or whatever um the commitment to taking care of your kid at the moment just of where i'm at in in life that's taking what, care of someone else's kid or having your own kid? Taking someone else's else's kid at the moment because it's just like, you know... Like a stepfather? Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't feel like I'm at that stage yet. Where, where like, if I was in my mid-30s, still single, yeah, I'll do it. If I was in my little bit in an early 30s, yeah, I still... But I'm still in my 20s, and I feel like, you know, if I had that weight on my shoulder, I feel like I would be... Mm, a terrible, a terrible. I feel like it. I feel like it's a lot to take on mm. if you're not prepared, mm. you know. And if you're, I mean, I guess the situation. I'm like, you know, if you're young, you could have your own family yeah. still. But some people actually like to. And I just want to know. Become t- step. And I and I and I know like. And I know like and I know like some people would love to have kids. I would love to have uh, have have my own kid kid. One day I would love to be married. I would love to, to uh, have have my own child. But it's like, when you're like eighteen years old, like what get what what goes through people's heads that like you know, let's go all the way when you still have life. We still have a little bit of your 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 young teenager years to go. I mean, people people want families. Like early on, you know, that's mm-hmm. what they want to do. Okay. Um, I, I don't know how to say it. Like some people mm-hmm. know early on that they want children. Some people are like, you know what? I'm young. I want to experience mm-hmm. things first. I want to live my life before you got that. Mm-hmm. Um, some people, some people you know, just some don't pe- want any. Some people take take more risks than some people let's go with that and they believe that they are capable and sometimes you know that when you what what you believe sometimes can bite you back a bit you know you you think you're prepared ready but when it happens you know you got you got that you got schoolwork you got 
your crew, you got a job, you gotta, you gotta take care of that baby, baby, because the baby daddy just totally, totally disappeared on you. So like, you got all this piling up, rent, bills, trying to find a babysitter, trying to have, a, have, have time to yourself. You know, it's just a lot. You know, and that's why it's like you should. That's why I just believe that like, when you get, when you feel comfortable, like you should figure out what, like what, what is comfortable to you. What is that time that you believe is like ready, you know? Right. And then you execute it. But we're kind of getting off topic now here with that. And I just feel like that we've been throwing shade. We've been shooting that <laughs> laser beam at, at, at those people. Like we, we're not, we're not here to judge. We, there is no hate, you know, everyone has the opinions and it's, and it's hard, hard nowadays to, express your opinions, express your feelings because you have people that even easily want to just slice you into pieces. And that's why I have difficulty of expressing stuff because I like, because I'm always because of just people throwing shade at me, things tell me that I'm wrong, tell me that, that they're right and I'm wrong. And so I keep, I keep everything to myself. And when people say like, Oh, you're so quiet. Why don't you talk and stuff? Because I'm scared. I'm scared to say stuff because I'm scared to be, to be, getting shade thrown at me. I'm scared to 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 express myself. I'm scared because every time that I talk, you know, I want, I won't. I have. Well, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. It's just a, it's just a scared feeling, you know. As I'm expressing this right now, like I'm freaking like scared talking about this sometimes too. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> it's 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 difficult. Mm. It's I don't know. I and our age and dating, it's hard to tell what anyone wants nowadays. Um, like I I know what you want. You're looking for commitment, and just from the females, and like and like and like it's about, it's, it's literally it's literally like hitting. Hitting the hitting the lucky jackpot because you freaking got got lucky. You hit the jackpot, and and what's good when you hit that jackpot, and you got all of that. We're just we're just we're just making. I'm just making this up. When you get that, you know, when you when you go to like a freaking casino, you hit that jackpot, and all this money just comes shooting out. You at least were capable of securing and keeping and and keeping a a, a main maintaining that and not not losing it. Right. You know, and you still and it's still. And still, every time that you pull that lever, you're still hitting, hitting the jackpot because you're freaking getting married, married soon, well, ne- well next year. But it's still yeah, soon. it's crazy, it's crazy. <laughs> but so, it's... as I continue on with why I am the depressed one and Zach is the happiest one, so I, th- so I said, you know, Zach, Zach is this, Zach is this, Zach is all that. We're just gonna go through a little bit of a of a little star of a little story time for me. So back in August, I was with someone. We we did have a have a have a breakup before, but then you know we kind of had had this idea of you know taking it taking it a bit slower. You know, it's a bit it's a bit of a, like a short term relation, and then I kind of thought to myself, you know, maybe a short term can be good, but also it could be bad. And I kept seeing good because maybe we could turn it into like you know what. We were, we were, we were all, all, all mess, messing around, you know, and stuff like that. And, you know, maybe this can actually work out very well. You know, we were, we were, we were at like a weird point in our relationship. And like now, now, now we see clearly that we can probably make this work. And I thought it, and I thought, and I thought it could be that way. But then I feel like to me, she would... When she started to get closer, she would get scared, and that's why she kind of fled the state and do these summer jobs. So she fled. She went to Oregon. I would, and of course, I'm not throwing shade at her. I still support her. You know, like I like I said to Zach one day, it's like you know, where we where we are in terms, it's not going to kill me wanting to be there, be supportive for you, because I recently just just went to her art show this past Friday. And I was there for a good a good hour supporting her artwork. She was happy to see me. We had great conversations. It was pretty good. Do I believe something would will will happen again between us? 
there's there's always a possibility, but you don't want to, for that to get in your head. That's why I have like a quarter percent of like there's a possibility. I'm not going above and beyond with like 50 percent. But when she got uh, when she was getting when she was at Oregon and stuff, she kept on like trying trying to be mean, trying to throw shade because she she's like you know you don't. It's like don't don't wait on me. Go find someone who actually. And I'm getting I'm getting hit. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's nighttime. It's actually there's a zombie. Zach, go to bed real quick. Hey, you, you, you yeah. want to sleep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to sleep yeah. with me, Kevin? No, thank you. I got my own bed. Come right on. Here. <laughs> we have a third person joining us right here, and he's dead. Oh, okay. Hurry up. So much for the fun time. That's a fun time. <laughs> you got your own bed, man. <laughs> We haven't we haven't committed that that much yet. You stay on your side. I, I know that's why we're sleeping in separate beds, yeah. man. So, so when she came, so uh, what was I? Well, what did I leave off with? I just drew a blank. That's that's one thing with podcasts. To go find she was like to find someone else, yeah. you know, to not wait around. But you know, so like I, tr I've 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 been trying to 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 of course <laughs> go find someone. But go find someone, and and, it, and it's like difficult because you know, I luck, I I I, I luck, I, I do not get 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 lucky. I luck, I luck out. I've been trying many times, um, and this leads up to February, where I thought to myself that this girl, who I who I work with, you know, when I first started, you know, I found her. Beautiful, cute, attractive, and I and I and I always had, and I had like this little crush, and to me, crushes, you know, you know, it doesn't mean it doesn't really mean any anything big, you know. I can I can have crushes on like all any girls, but it's like it's a crush. It's nothing big, like like it's a crush. It's just it's just up in up in the air. It's nothing big, you know. I don't. It's nothing serious. It's a crush. Right. I'm not going. Yeah. To, I'm not going to chase. I'm not going to do anything. It's like oh. I... I'm just, it's just, it's just like a little conversation. Like, oh yeah, I had a crush on her. And then it's just like, oh, well, why, why didn't you go after her? It's like, well, you know, you know, it, it didn't, didn't feel anything serious. You know, it didn't, didn't seem anything, you know, I did, you know, she's beautiful. She's, she's attractive. If I felt like something, if I, if I felt like something could click, I would go for it. But you know, nothing, cr you know, crushes don't really click, click instantly. You know, you got to get the feeling. You got to get your, got to get your feet wet a bit. And then see about it. And then if you believe, if you get your toes in the yeah, water, get your toes in the water. And if you feel confident that, like, you know what, let's see what happens. Go for it. So I, so I, so I went for it. Um, I forget how it started, but I know a couple of my, a couple of my other coworkers always kept on saying to her, it's like, you know, you should, you know, give Kevin a chance. Give, give Kevin a chance because she was going through a lot of, of, of going on dates with guys, and you know, she felt like she was getting somewhere, and then boom, she gets her heart broken. It's like, you know, I get my heart broken too. So, I told I I, I remember told, telling her one day it's like because uh, I was putting on a uh, hand hand cream ointment because I was doing a rock climbing league during during the winter times. Usually I do I do a winter rock climbing league down down in a town that's an hour away from me. And you know I was talking about her about about like oh you should definitely have you ever tried rock climbing? It's like oh a little bit here and there. It's like oh you should definitely give it a try. You know come 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 with me like like next time or something and blah blah this blah that and like you know and like there's even a Barnes and I don't know how we got got with Barnes and Noble. like oh yeah there's Barnes and Nobles down there too. There's even a Target blah 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 blah. And then finally, I don't know if she felt pure pressure because that's another thing I keep on wondering too. It's like did my coworkers pressure her into going on a date with me? And she didn't feel like it. You know, that's a that's another thing. And so we went on a date. It it was it was I mean, awesome. Can you can you peer pressure someone into going on a date though? I don't know. I was I wasn't the one that said, Hey, you wanna go on a date? She 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 asked she asked me, like, you wanna go on a date this weekend? So yeah. And so before the date happened, she 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 straight up said, like, I don't want anything, you know, whatever happens, happens. This doesn't doesn't ruin our friendship and stuff like that. It's like, okay, whatever. And it, and it went well. I to me it, it it went well. I even I even asked her like, "Hey, do you think there'd be a chance for another date?" And she's like, "Oh, yes. I had a great time. I can't wait for our next one." Then comes this random like, "What the heck just happened?" Because 
the next following, like like the like the week after our date was perfectly fine, everything was good. But then all of a sudden, the following week, reverse psychology just happened. Where like, oh no, it was never a date. No, I never said I wanted to to commit. I said I said we were we were friends. I said nothing about taking it slow and stuff like that. And but it's just like in reality, she did say all this. But yet she tries to reverse and say, No, no, you're just thinking stuff. If I if I if I was leading you on, I'm so sorry. It's like, but you said all this stuff. And now right. it's since since that day, she has given me the cold shoulder. I cannot even say good 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 morning to her at work anymore because every every time I say, Oh, good morning, good morning, and I don't want I don't want to say her name either, but it's just like We'll just, no, we'll, just, we'll just we'll just call her Cat. I'll be like, oh, good good morning, Cat, and she'll just <laughs> ignore me, give me the cold shoulder. So every time now at, at like at like work, I I hurry up, get my stuff, get my stuff in my locker in my room, put the chairs down for the students, and I take a walk. I do about five to like eight 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 uh, eight laps around my in around inside my building before before it's time to go to my classroom, and usually I wait. Till another coworker shows up, and I'm like, okay, cool, I can go back in, because usually how it goes, it goes me first because I live like five, seven minutes away from my job, then it goes her, then it goes Cat, and then my other coworkers don't really show up until close to when it's time for for their shift to start. So for like, so I get there at seven thirty, and probably like 7 7:40 I'm able to be out of the room and just walk around for a good 20 minutes. And okay. and it just it's just off it's just awful like I don't even know if she, I keep on I keep I keep thinking that she hates me, you know, like I I I would I would still like to be a good friend to her. She she even believes in like rumors too. She believes that I said something bad about her and her dog. And so she's freaking like pissed off about that. And every time now that I like see her or pass her, like, like I can't even ask her to help me with like a favor because she'll just be, she'll give me that like sass and all this stuff. And that's been going on since the end of February. And it still goes on. And I'm getting sick and tired of it. And now we come into the month of the, we get close to the end of May into the month of June where it just turned to the, everybody needs to hate on me. Everyone needs to hate on Kevin. I've done nothing wrong. I literally keep things to myself. You know, I want to be nice. I want to be caring. I want to have good conversations. You know, I want to be like that person. Like, like, Oh my God, this, Oh my God. He's so nice. He's, he's so helpful. He's caring. And that's what I want to be. And hopefully get get something good out of it, but for the whole month of June, it it was let's just shit on Kevin, and I started, and I kept having this negative energy build build up inside of me to the point where I have started taking jujitsu classes to exhale this negative energy, and it's been working out pretty well. And I have reconnected with with one of my old best friends. And now he is back being a, be- a, be- a, be- a best friend to me. He always was a best friend to me. I just, it's just been years because jo- our jobs took over our lives and we never got to to continue doing our podcast. Because before this podcast, I was on another podcast and I believe we made it up to 24 episodes before the reality kicked in on us. The jobs were taking over over our lives and we had to quit doing our production and it was a fun time because that was like okay everybody everybody nowadays do does like fair therapy sessions where i still just don't believe what does a therapist do because if because it, let's say you don't have the money for the freaking session i feel like therapists are just there for your for your money oh i charge 150 for a session okay yeah. and you just want to hear you want and you just want them to say what you want them to say you know, well, a lot of times it, it, it's mis- it just it's mischievous. It's mischievous, though. But it's like, okay, you want you want help talking to someone like 
my podcast, uh, my podcast with 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 my with my best with my buddy was like a therapy session. You know, we just sit with a microphone, and just talk, and we'll make it into an episode. It was good to explode. It was good to like just just have a nice simple conversation. It felt good. There was no money involved. It was just me right. and a friend. And it's hard to have those two to have a friend. I'm glad that you know you know I I, I remember saying to Zach, dude, how can you handle me? Because it's just like everybody. Every time when I explode, it just pushes people away. Like I don't want I don't want to be friends with you anymore. It's like. You can't you can't express nowadays. I literally lost a good a good friend because he thought I was being rude to him and his wife, to his house house that he lives in. I'm too I'm too active for for him, and 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 I oh I have standards in women. It's like what the heck? Okay, well, like everybody's got their their preferences. I don't think it's standards. I think yeah. it's preference. Like you, you need to be attracted to someone on some level yeah. for there to be any sort of relationship. Mm-hmm. Even if it's like, yeah, like I think we covered this in the last one. Yeah, there's emotional, but you got to have some physical attraction to them, or it just doesn't really work. And we also, and I don't think it's standards. I think it's preference. And we also talked about I, I. This was just a private conversation before we we did all this stuff. But like I also mentioned about like why is it so hard to text to have a text conversation with with a with a certain someone a girl a girl you a girl you like a girl you want to see what could happen why is it so hard to have just a simple text conversation why is it so hard to start a conversation with with a girl that you that you like why is it so hard for them to respond to you like, 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 why is it such a big deal? It's like, oh, why do I got to text you? It's like, well, it's like, what were you doing? Oh, I was doing nothing. It's like, well, then you could, you could have just like shoot up a text. We could have a conversation. Hey, you but, want, yeah. you want to do something? Like, hey, we could have done something. You know, we could have made like a last minute plan and gone out and done something. Maybe if you, if you were I just so want to say, you know, if it was the other way around, you would get a chew in for not yeah. responding to them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When it comes to the, the fucking water, jeez, I'm sorry. <laughs> damn, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought you were about to explode or something. I'm like, oh, damn, Zach, you okay? <laughs> the skeleton kept shooting me back into the water. I just trying to get out. But yeah, yeah, it's so true because when when a girl when a girl doesn't doesn't reply back, oh, why are you so upset? You know, you know, come on now, why are you why are you being like this? Come on, why are you being like that? But when a guy doesn't reply back, it's like, why why weren't you there? I was so worried. I was so this. I was so that. It's like it's okay for them to flip out, but when we have that moment, it's like, oh, you're being so childish. Like, come on now, come on, let's be adults here, okay? Right. There's no need to freak out. If you have time, reply back to your messages. Now, when I say that, like, don't freaking wait like four days to freaking, freaking like, like respond or something. That's that's just ignoring. You are ignoring. If you have, if you, if you have time, <laughs> reply. Like, come right, on, it's, it's, not not, hard, it's not hard. It's not hard to send a text message. Like, that's the like, thing. You like, know? what's the longest wait that you have had from me to reply? And an an hour. I would say it's an hour. Yeah, it's usually if you're you're doing something else, but you still respond. Yeah. But if you're not doing anything, most people are on their phones in their pastime yeah, anyway. Seriously. You, you know, they're seeing the message. They're like, okay, this is not important. And they go back to what they're doing. Yeah, ser- yeah seriously. Seriously. It's just like, if you have time, you know, reply. Be nice. Be nice. Be a thoughtful person. Don't ghost right. them. Don't ghost them. Don't just ignore them. I've literally had 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 an experience like that recently. I freaking so I'm trying to like throw myself out there dating apps and stuff like that. And I have a dating app. I finally narrowed it down. Put the plug out there, man. Put your username. People can find you. There's no username. <laughs> you just gotta find me. There's no username in these dating apps. Okay. In this okay, we won't app. put your last name out there for no, the world no. to see. Okay, I'm using Hinge. <laughs> I'm using the dating app Hinge. And it's been my best luck of getting matches, but I haven't made it made it that far, far, far in like l- the relationship thing. 
And literally, I remember, and literally, I had this girl who said, like, oh, yeah, it's just so, it's so, so crazy finally having a conversation because usually it's just a, it's just a couple, just a couple of sentences and then, the, then that's it. And she, and she mentioned how she just hates that and it feels so good now. Then all of a sudden, it's been about like almost three weeks. I haven't heard back from her. It's like, are you sure it's the guy or, 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 or are you just, are you just twisting words around? Because that's another thing too. People like to twist words nowadays. Like, yeah, no, that's definitely true. Like, I did not say that. Oh, yes, you did. Do you, okay? Do you have a recording? I'm a. That's that's literally what I what I should say nowadays. Like, do you have a recording of me saying that? Like, literally. Well, no, but I but I. Why do I need a recording when I just you know you I heard you said it. But uh, but that believe but I believe those are not the words I said. I am defending myself right now. People only want to hear what, what they want to hear. hear. And what I gotta say too is that like when standards, standards or preference, when you finally find that, you're gonna you're gonna hate these people. When you finally find a standard like that. When you find your standard, when you find, when you believe that this is the person that truly fits your preference, fits every category, fits every bullet point, guess what? They don't love you. They don't care for you. They don't. They become jackasses. They've been a jackass their whole life. Look what happened when you finally found someone. You found out that this preference leads them to be, leads them to being a jackass. And now, no. and now look what happened. There you had a you had a person who cared about you, who actually wanted to know about your day, who actually wanted wanted to hang with you. You you got upset and hated all that. But then when you found your preference, when you find that guy that you that you wanted to be with, and then he does not give jack shit about about what you're doing, doesn't want to hang, doesn't want to do all that stuff. Look what happened. You you just you you literally threw threw something good away because you found your standard. You need to read in between the lines, people, sometimes. You need to think for once. Before you want to end it, do you believe it is the right thing to do? Now, do you think... Do you think maybe some of these people just need time? And time is okay. I understand time. You need a break from me? All right. But when it comes to... but, 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 But make sure... To watch out what you say, though, too, for this break. If you need time away and you say a week, okay. When that week ends, I'm going to freaking message you and say, hey, what's up? Because if I hear, because if I hear nothing, I'm going to, I'm going to check in. Right. You know? And if I do, I, don't know, some... I find it funny yeah. on <laughs> the dating website. So funny. Well, Sam. no. You that... are funny. Well, the funny guy, man. Ha ha ha. I don't know. Like the women. The women. <laughs> I feel like I feel like maybe they're on there just to try to get some action, and like yeah, maybe yeah, the love yeah. part comes later. They lost. Maybe the love part comes later. Yeah, they, well, they well they lost they they lost their attention. I need attention. And but if they're just trying to hook up, man, go on Tinder. That's what Tinder's yeah, for. Yeah, I stopped using that because because I'm not that guy. I'm here for something. Something good. I've never had a Tinder profile. Dude, I did Tinder in college. I did Tinder in college college because of, there was like <laughs> I forget I forget what my what my friend said. Um what's the what do you believe the population of, of our college was for students? <clears throat> um I think the actual like enrollment was like twenty five thousand kids okay, or something. Twenty five thousand kids. So there is 1,200, 12, if there is, wait, 2,500. Let's just assume it's half females. You got about yeah. 12,500 females. Yeah, yeah, there's like that. Not a single one, not a single girl wanted to continue on. There would be a few, a few words here and there. That's it. There would be a few girls that got creeped out for some reason when you didn't <laughs> even step over the line. There are some that just well, wanted to live out the college years of partying up, drinking, smoking weed. Oops, your freaking academics fell through you. Good job. 
Well, okay. So, sorry, sorry. Just bad experience. I have, I have, I've, I've had. <laughs> no, uh, here's the thing. Um, on Tinder, at least what I am aware of, don't they have to reciprocate? Like, like you want to match with someone, don't they have to match back for anything that even happen? What do you mean? Like, I thought like they have to. If you swipe right on someone, it tells you if you're. If they swiped with you and if you're a match and that's oh, when yeah. you oh, actually yeah. start like talking. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. So like so like for, for those who don't know much about dating apps, uh Tinder Tinder was the first I guess the first thing that's kinda started. <laughs> I would say I would say Tinder well well there's been other dating apps, but like the most popular one that, that clicked was Tinder. And with Tinder, you would you would swipe right if you if you found this girl's pro profile or guy's profile interesting it matched to your to your i don't know category of you your like likes and stuff so you swipe right if you did not like the person then you would swipe left but you would swipe right and if nothing happened then you would probably need need to wait you 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 would just have to wait it out to see if the girl will finally find your profile and swipe right on you and then you get a match sometimes when you swipe right on someone Boom! It's like, hey, you got a match because this girl or man swiped swiped right on you first. So then, that's when you get a chance to send a message. Now, there are some other dating apps like Bumble. Bumble, you can you you can match with them. You would just hit you give them like a heart, a like, a like they would say, but it's a but but it's a heart. And if you got a match, the men do not have have the priority of, of responding first. You have to wait till the girl responds. And sometimes that is that 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 hurts too because they have 24 hours to respond. If not, bye bye. And sometimes it would it would hurt when you when they wouldn't send you a message or if they send you a message and you reply back and they say nothing else after that. That 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 sucks. And then the one that I'm on is hinge and you basically just like like it's it's a, it's the same thing. Swipe, swipe right, swipe left, but this is more like like them or give them an X. Pretty much. Right. And then when you and what's good about this one is that, you know, um, you could you get to see you get to see like who who uh, liked you. They tell you like, oh, um, Chelsea. Don't know why I'm saying that, but let's just say, oh, Chelsea, <laughs> Chelsea. They even they even say they don't say like it. They don't say like Tinder and Bob like, oh, someone liked you. Ooh, why don't you go find out and see? No, no. Hinge is like, oh, this girl named Chelsea liked you. Why don't you go check check your likes? So you go to your like and the profile will like pop up. You can go go to a profile, see see what stuff. If you if you like her, you can give her permission to 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 now start a conversation with you. If you don't like her, then you give her the X. Now now yeah, the now the now her. the bad <laughs> what? I say you banish her. Yeah, you banish her. Now the downside is is that like let's say, let's say Chelsea liked you, then all of a sudden an another girl likes you. Well, you're to, you have to pick. No, well, no, well, no. <laughs> to see to see Chelsea's profile, you need to either give give the girl above her a like or an X before you can see Chelsea's profile. They're making you choose. <laughs> well, it's just like, well, it's just like, okay, you fell, you fell, you fell on, you fell in line. <laughs> so like, you got to wait, you got to wait your turn. <laughs> you can't just scroll. You got to wait for your turn. And it sucks because when you run out of likes and you, let's just say the girl in front of you, you know, you like, you, you like to, and you want to give her, give her a chance. You got no likes. You got to wait till, till the next day to give that a like. And then you get to see what Chelsea looks like. You know? Oh. Yeah, it's just a up. it's a freaking crazy world out there, man, and I really am not a fan of it. I so you're not a the, fan of it. I'm not I'm not a fan of it. I wish I wish that good things would happen with me, but everything just keeps becoming bad, bad and bad. And then like I look at you, man, and you just keep rising up, and I'm not gonna be pissed off at you. It's just it's just like man, I wish I was there too. I wish I could easily could easily. You know, here's the thing though, like everyone's that, timeline is different, yeah, you know. Everyone's timeline's different, but I wish that I could be could be like in, in, in your way and pull that slot slot machine lever and hit that jackpot finally. I just keep getting 
two lemons and in, in, in one apple. <laughs> I don't know. I never done a slot machine. <laughs> I did when I went to Vegas. Yeah. I, oh yeah. I, I saw I pictures. Right. I saw pictures. You were even there when that when Las Vegas had that earthquake. I didn't even feel it. Yeah. I'm so sad. I was. I was the girl I was dating at the time. We were we were at Buffalo Wild Wings having a having food, and uh, we we usually sit by the bar with all the TVs, look around, and I saw the NBA Summer League was in Las Vegas, and it's and it cut to. It, it cut the sports center, and it said like, "Oh, it is uh, de- delayed due to a massive earth- earthquake." And I was like, "Zach's there." Yep, and uh, Chloe well, was like, "Did you feel that?" I'm like, "Nope." No, but I'll feel <laughs> you tonight, honey. I, 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 I. I was about to make a joke the other way, saying like, "You know, gonna make a small penis joke." That's okay, and man. It's, really- it's okay, man. <laughs> we are all like that, dude. This 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 whole gameplay. I just been getting wood. <laughs> I haven't even built anything. Uh, well, damn, horny much? Oh, <laughs> shut the fuck up, man. Not... Um, I've been I've been providing nourishment for us. Huh. So I have been I'm... talking for almost like fifty <laughs> minutes about behind the scenes for me. We haven't even got to you, Zach. <laughs> Well, there's not much behind the scenes for me, so I was just letting you do your thing, you know. Well, what do you have to say? What what can you what can you uh I just, I just got I'm getting hit. Zombie, go to bed real quick. Go to bed real quick. What you know, what can all I can you, do is what can you on emphasize on this? What can you um what can you bring bring to the table? For this long ass behind the scenes conversation of my depressing life in a way. And like before before you start talking, I will say that, that like lots of people were like, Oh, you just gotta go do stuff. Go go do stuff. I'm I've been trying. It's just fun and Well, you do a lot of stuff already. That's the thing. You go, you're active, yeah, you do I, all these different I do disc sports. golf, I do jujitsu, I write, I paint, I do all this stuff. But sometimes I would really like to have someone come along and join and come along for, for the ride with me. That's all I ask. You know, it's, it's fun to have a person tag along with you. I have never went to a restaurant by myself. And I still can't do that because that just feels so weird. You're by, I did it once. It's very weird. Yeah, yeah. you're by yourself. <laughs> it's like, what the heck, what the heck am I going to do at, a, at, like a, at like an IHOP by myself? That's it. That's where I went by oh myself. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's like what are you I, gonna, I just what ordered gonna, food. It's like what are you gonna do at an IHOP by yourself? Oh boy, eating my food. While well, you look around and see people having conversations, people showing showing a funny video that they found. Like, what am I going to do? Just be on my you phone. Know, and eat some food. Eat some that's food. What I did. I pulled out my phone. I ate my food. Yeah. It's it's quite uh, maybe, relaxing. Maybe, not gonna lie. maybe be judge. Maybe be slightly judge behind the back. I don't know. I know it's kind of a uh, yeah. kind of peaceful. Yeah, it's like I've I've actually won. I got to uh, today because um, there is a cool discount for it, and I want to buy this. So I have found recently these virtual challenges that you can do, and it's basically like we'll give you the award. You just got to show that you did it. Or or, or, or or there is some that's like, we need to see a process to give you this virtual award, which is basically, so I found this awesome thing where you do a 5 or, 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 or a 10K on your own time, and t- you can do whatever you want. You can do it on a treadmill. You can do it on a bike. You can do it on a hike. You can do it on a ran on, on multiple days of just pacing yourself. And it sounds like a sex uh, marathon. You can do it on a bike. You can do it. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to find like a certain theme for these. So, so one is like a so one is like a certain like planet from Star Wars, and I'm just like, dude, I need to. F- it's where the, it's it's where the Wookies live, and I'm like, dude, I need to find like a like I want to I want to do a hike where I'm surrounded by just a bunch of trees, and just start doing trails and do my 10 10k there or something. 
You know, right. I want to make it interesting. Yeah. And now there's this other one I really want to do. I really want to do. I need this. I need to. I need to save up at least two hundred bucks so I can do all 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 five of them. But it's literally a a Lord of the Rings theme where you where you sync synchronize your steps and walk with this app and you walk from the Shire all the way to the place where they drop the ring. That sounds so cool. And you even, you know, and you, and you give yourself an own deadline. I was going to do like, I could probably do it in like a year because it's a long walk. Or, I have this app. Or or I've maybe been wanting to like run. Yeah. Or maybe I'll I'll have to do some research and see how long did it take them to get from the Shire to to uh Let's see if you can do it in like the same amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. Like if it's like, oh, it took them five <laughs> five years, oh I could definitely do that. <laughs> and then every time you this this one's cool because every time that you hit hit that place to like let's say let's say, oh, from the Shire to I don't know, the 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 snowy mountains they went to. I I don't know what the what what places are. Once you once you hit there, we'll give you the that <coughs> that 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 medal because the first medal you get is is starting at the Shire. You get a Shire medal, and it and it even comes with your own little ring, your little Lord of the Rings thing. So you got like, so I think like every single medal you get, you can transfer the ring to the next medal. To see, to be like, oh, we're at here now. Oh, we're at there. And it's so cool. And I want to try it so bad. And I'm smiling as I'm talking about this because it's so cool. And then there's another one that is uh, Tatooine, uh, five, five k, ten k. I was like, dude, I gotta find like a national park with a bunch of sand. Wisconsin. I just go to Chicago. Go to like the the lake. Yeah, true. But I and then I also saw like Indiana Dunes state park there too that's like two hours away i want to do like a day right. trip on that and yeah, stuff like that so yeah anyway zach well, go ahead go, well, go was, ahead go ahead i've been i I've was been gonna say there. i i have this app um and it's, it's something like run because i've been wanting to like run I, since i had like covid i feel like my uh my lung capacity mm. isn't what it used to be yeah but it's like this app and it's a zombie one it's like run zombie or whatever mm. but it takes how much you run and like you like let's say there's it's like oh there's supplies like five miles away so you have to run five miles and it'll register and you pick up the supplies mm-hmm. and you know you recruit survivors and i love zombie stuff mm-hmm. like that'd be something cool to yeah and, just and go out there to and what's pretty cool run. about this lord of rings one is like that can i can even have my own uh fellowship where like I I can't you know they they have their own fellowship they had all these people like you can have other people help you out too, so it's not just by yourself. But it's like well the problem is though it's like the medals will be coming to me <laughs> if they're okay with me keeping the medals. But yeah, oh, I, I was mean, like Zach, you okay? Did you die? <laughs> all I heard was oh. I, no, I fell off a I fell off a roof. Mm. Dude, I've been getting so <laughs> much wood. It's been crazy. It's been crazy right now. Um, but no, all I can really do is comment on like your situation stuff. Like you put yourself out there, mm-hmm. you made it clear on what you want. Yeah. And I've never seen a generation where the women just, I mean, I guess it, it's always probably been there, but they just want to fool around. Yeah. It's, 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 it's time to stop fooling around. It's time to like. Commit. Okay, see, that's that's the thing though. There's a uh, everyone's timelines are different yeah. though, so maybe this is what they want to do, and Yikes. if that's what they want to do, maybe they crazy. weren't the one for you. That's crazy. So maybe they. Yeah. So maybe it means they weren't the one for you, yeah. and you got to find someone who's got the same interest. And when, but sometimes, if, but sometimes when you do find that, you know, sometimes it also doesn't work out there too, and it's just it's just so stupid. Yeah. But I don't know. See, that's the thing. You can't get discouraged. Mm-hmm. You gotta keep, gotta keep trying. And and like, and, I don't know. You can't really plan those things. They'll just happen when they happen. Mm-hmm. Like the only reason I met Chloe is because I met her through a random person at school. Oh yeah, and I met and I met uh, my previous one through a, through a friend. And I thought I thought it was the greatest greatest thing to happen to me too. When you can meet someone through through a friend, that's 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 way better than than uh, swiping on a dating app, in my opinion. 
Right, because you'll have a you have a more personal connection, mm-hmm. and you're close, and you're close by to each other too, which is nice. You're not so far, right. far, far away, which you know, you know, you know. Hey, being, wait, hold on. Being, how much? How, from, how much wood do you have on you? How much wood do you have on you? Ah, oh, jeez, I have one, two, three, four, five stacks of sixty-four, and I'm on a stack of fifteen right now. Um, give me a stack so I can make charcoal because we need torches. Okay, in a second. In a second, but it's like. When it comes to distance, you know, distance is not a problem for me, but it's just like, you know, it's it's a it's a plus to have um them near nearby you. Right. I don't know. See, it's it's when you least expect it, that's when something's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. You know? It's when you're gonna go do your run like you want. Maybe you'll bump into someone else jogging. Freaking, you know? freaking bump them. They go. They freaking fall. They tumble across the dang. <laughs> it's one of those. It's one of those. Oh God! Not another. Not another teen movie type thing. <laughs> Oops. Have you seen that movie? No, I want to so bad. Dude, I love that movie. <laughs> like, like seriously, it's just it's just one of those things. You know, you know, you're just like jogging, 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 not looking. And you know, like in the actual movie, it's like, ooh, bump. Oh, sorry, you fell. But then, like those, those parody movies, like, ooh, bump. She goes flying across like fifty feet, tumbles. She gets up. I, she's perfectly fine. It, she's probably sprained. I didn't her realize hand. it was Chris Evans. Oh yeah. yeah it, it was Captain America. I didn't realize that. I think it was. I found I found it hilarious too because because when 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 he was sing, <laughs> when he was singing to to her. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, when he was singing to her, that was from the movie Ten Things I Hate About You," and like uh, Heath 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 Le- Heath Ledger was singing, "Can't keep my eyes can't can't take my eyes off you," and freaking and freaking Chris Evans was singing, "Janie's got a gun," and freaking everybody mm-hmm. started running. The police come and they taser her. It's like, oh my god. Mm-hmm. And, and and what does he do? He flees. He he flees the scene because he's like, oh shoot, what I do? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. What a romantic. What a romantic guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I'm. It's. I don't know. It's. I'm trying to find the right word, and I don't think I can. I I think you just gotta not plan for it and. Is, when it happens, that's, it won't happen. yeah, that's a that's but it is a big big difficulty for me of not planning because it's just like, well, what do I do to like, to like not think about it, you know? And you do all that other stuff, but you know it's still there in your mind, and you think about it, and you think about it, and it gets right. Tough. You know, yeah, got, got no, I, I I get it. I guess it's hard to speak. Coming from a position when I already have slept in, you piece of shit. <laughs> with <laughs> and with your and with your two hundred view episode last week, God, I'm still freaking salty about that. I do not understand your freaking viewer viewership than mine because I freaking get like twenty views, and then here's Zach who just pup who just posted posted a video, and all of a sudden it's like, ooh. Let's give him three hundred views. <laughs> what? I posted it after you too. <laughs> yeah, which is such bullshit. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's look at this right now. Let's look at this right now. Okay, I'm pulling up my phone right now. It's because people love the porn. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, okay, now now my phone's taking forever to load. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Let's give it a second. <laughs> All right, here we are. There we go. Okay, so my first video, my first podcast got forty-four views right now. Now, if we compare it to Zach on that, on that. Now, 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 think of mine too. I have nine hundred and forty subscribers, and Zach has thirty-two subscribers. Hell yeah! First, <laughs> first podcast he. Our first episode, I had 44 views in a month. In two months on Zach's, he has 106 views. Okay, what the heck? It's pretty cool. Okay, I, I like it. Our second podcast, Zach has Zach made 69 views in one month for this one. And I hit my mic. If we go to me, I only have 17 views in one month. Now, now don't forget, I have I have 941 subscribers, and Zach has 32. 
now if we go to our recent one, I have 20, I made 22 views in 10 days. And that's pretty good. You know, 10 days, 22 views. Hey, that's pretty good. That's a good pace. Now we go to Zach. And this is the icing on the cake where we should beat up Zach. <laughs> Seven days, all right? Seven days. Now, 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 don't forget, I have 941 subscribers and he has 32 subscribers. 217 views. What the heck? And, 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 hey, hey, maybe it's because, you know, I'm not doing good with my thumbnails and he, but, but, but let's recall something. I make my own thumbnails. Zach goes to an AI machine. Oh, yeah. I mean, I fucking Photoshop it. I use the you AI. You put our logos on top of the people's faces. That's and Photoshop. I... Oh, good job, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That is not Photoshop. That's just you. That's what is what is Photoshop but manipulating an image? And that is what I've done. Photoshop is emphasizing your photos and color grading and con contrast and brightness like I do. Like an actual photographer. You literally say, hey, lovely machine. How you doing? Hell yeah. Make this. It works, don't it? It works, don't it? You <laughs> cradle the balls of this machine. It's probably a dude. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Hey, yeah, dude, dude. A guy what knows what a guy That's wants. That's what it is. I'll fondle all the balls, man. And like, if it gets and what's funny, too, is like, it. Our best podcast, it's pro to me, to me right now, is, is definitely our first episode. I think our first episode was like a, was like a, was like a, a hit out of the park. Second video. Eh, I don't know, I can't remember what we talked about in our second. Oh, we talked about Cos Life. Okay, our second video was 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 good. It was a good time to talk about who we are. <laughs> I went I went in dry on freaking the OnlyFans one, and that's Just fucking raw. Now. <laughs> and and yeah, it's like and that's why I kind of struggle with with that one being like the best one. <laughs> because but but we had structure. Because if you actually <laughs> yeah, because if you actually put put our put the, all the views together our best our best podcast is the only fans one because <laughs> it has it, 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 it has 239 39 views and then our second one has 86 views and then our first one has 150 views Wow, <laughs> I tell you, people have <laughs> people have standards in, in in videos, I guess too. And I really thought putting a picture of whatever a a Bella Danger. I don't even know who she is. Uh, uh huh. Sure, you don't know who she is. I know who she is, but I just I don't know. <laughs> None of it seems intriguing. I don't know. I don't. I don't watch her. Uh huh. We're getting back to the. This is not the only fans. <laughs> no, I'm just saying like people have standards too, and I thought you know but, maybe oh, hold on. maybe throwing hey, hold on. throwing a hot chick on my thumbnail would have worked. They used hold on. Okay. And I was gonna say, it kind of ties in. Do you think because of the success of OnlyFans and pornography, these women? Strictly want physical relationships to either be like them or it's empowering. It's definitely well, empowering. It's, it's crazy too because almost every girl that you that that, that you may see or, or like may have talked to always has like an and an OnlyFans. Like wow. It's crazy because okay, I don't know anyone that personally has one. Well, I can I I knew one person that I used to do, do show do theater shows with. She she moved she moved around and now she's like a a uh, plus size only fans now she used to be she she used to be she used to be like like fit and then she took took the path of plus size only fans she became a plus size person you know good good for her maybe she uh she she's making that money but you know, good good for her but it's just like yeah you know now nowadays almost every per every every woman every Social social media influencer has a OnlyFans, you know. Yeah, you I know, because I go because I go on TikTok and I come across like a like a woman's account on my for you page, 
and you know they make they make all these like relationship jokes or like the doing a cosplay and you know you go to their profile you 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 see that they have a link link to all those social medias and when you scroll you just see boom only fans it's like god dang now would you pay to personally or to see someone you know it's one thing for it to be a random person, but someone you know, would you actually pay to see them? I mean, I've been curious with like a couple people, but I know they would. But I mean, OK, let's see. Um, Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So so keep on rambling. I'm going to think of three people in my head and then I'm going <laughs> to say one, two or three and then I'll give you an answer. Oh, shit. I, I'm in charge of rambling now. Yeah, just say just say whatever, man. I'm thinking right now. I already got two people. I got to think of a third one. Okay. I don't know, man. The, I, maybe a lot of it has to do with, I mean, women, yeah, empowerment. They date. They have sex with who they want. But to strictly want physical relationships. Okay, okay, okay. I got, I mean, I got three. Lot, okay. I'm, in a, I have, I'm in a moment now. Okay. See, when people... Men don't want women with a high body count. So that is, after that is, these women, that is true. People, people, people are pretty crazy when they when they ask like how but many I have I, done, and I was like, it definitely three. I've only have I only did it with three people. But like, it's definitely double standards because guys yeah. will go and have sex with all these people, and and women aren't allowed to air quotes. You know, like the man won't find them attractive if they've had all these like partners. Uh -huh. But because like when the time the female, <laughs> the time that a f active female like that wants to settle down, she's been run through by all these different men, mm. which there's no shame in it. But then the men who want to settle down don't want someone that has had like double digit body count, yeah. you know. I mean, that's a little bit different behind the scenes, but. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was my moment. That was my TED talk. That was my Zach talk. Okay. There we go. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, All right, so okay, okay. So what is this, this scenario here? Like, am I, am I close to them or, or like, do I, do I just know them or like, like, like. like just in general, let's just say it's a friend of yours, you know? Okay. Cool. Would you pay to see them just out of sheer curiosity, you know? Okay. Maybe not because you're sexually attracted to them in any way, but. Like I know this person, I want to see what they're working with. Mm -hmm. Do you pay for it? Which one? I got three of them. You gotta give me a number. One, two, or three. But 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 don't but, there... don't but don't say the number yet. Put it into that sentence again. Redo re so, redo the sentence. You can... So you so you have names mm -hmm. attached to the numbers, correct? Mm -hmm. So if yeah. I say one for you, this is person A. Yeah. Okay. But do I get to know them so I can No. Why why would we get to know them? I I will edit the names out so no one knows. Okay. The first one so, Okay. So the first the first one I I graduated with her. Um her name is <laughs> She was a hottie. She was one of the hotties in my class. And I still today have have this crush on her. But I never get mm -hmm. I never I but I feel like I would never get a chance to talk to talk with her. To have a nice conversation in the in the uh real real world. Number two is Okay, but you've already seen her, haven't you? Yeah, but it's just like, you know. That's 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 that's, <laughs> that's 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 the fun part. Number three is this new girl that I have a little crush on. Uh, she also went to college with me. Her name is. <laughs> um, my parents brought brought her name up because she because because like I don't know one day one day we were talking during dinner at a at a restaurant, and my dad was asking like, "What do you feel about like a person that like smokes?" I'm like. Well, smoking's not bad. It's like, well, well, she vapes, but it's like, okay. And they brought up that name, like, oh yeah, she is a cute <coughs> person. And like, you know, I do want to do want to talk to her. I feel like I could get somewhere with like her, if I if I if I was 
man enough to send a message. She graduated a year after me. But she is also... Those trees were decoration! Oh. No! Too late. That's, o that's okay. <laughs> but it's just like, I feel like she's into the country boy redneck thing. And I'm not that. I mean, you live out in the country. Yeah. Do I Kinda. do I need to change number two? No. Okay, there we go. So, so would you pay to see number one? Oh, God, yes. Oh, it better be a good price. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, yes, please. Okay, but you've already seen number two, so I don't think it's even worth... Okay. No, 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 no. I rather, I rather, I rather see that in person again. God, this is gonna be a lot of editing. This is gonna be a lot of beep, beep. Where did he go? I looked him in the eyes. He's trying to rip. Oh, wait, I can't say that. Yeah, you can't. We're gonna get demonetized. He's trying to attack me. Um. So you've seen two. Would you pay for three? Honestly, I'm just so honestly. I'm just so scared, and I feel like I'm not their 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 standard, and I want to respect this person too. I'm gonna to go with no. Right. I'm gonna go with no because I think it would be probably more special if I did get somewhere further with this person that I would rather I would like to see in person. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I could ever pay for someone's OnlyFans. Now, here. Here, here. I'll give you something here, okay? I apologize, Chloe. Right. I ap apologize, Chloe, in advance, but I'm going to throw some names <laughs> at Zach. I do apologize. If you want to be mad... We, we're we're going to blur out all the names, yeah, we're gonna, okay? We're going to blur out all the names, Chloe, so don't worry. Uh, do not do not think of anything different of Zach. He is your future husband. You, you love him. He loves you. He would die for you. He would... He would fall off a cliff for you. He would jump into a ring of fire. He would get mauled by a by a teddy bear for you. Is that a, isn't that the song? What? No, it's the the dynamite or a grenade. It's like I'll catch a grenade. Yeah, yeah for he'll you. he'll he'll literally do that. <laughs> so anyway, here we go. Number one is <laughs> number two. Mm. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. We're behind you. Watch out. I know. I'm running. Number two. Is oh, God. And number three. Ah. Is now, Zach, how would you feel of paying for number for number one? Dude, I really gotta let's think about say, this. Let's say it is four ninety nine a month for <laughs> let's just go with so that. she's cheap. <laughs> well well no, well no pricing prices is always is always a big is a big thing. So I'm gonna like do some prices here. It's four ninety nine a month for for a uh, for a subscription. She's got okay. some good photos, some good content. You know, cause you know, I think we've all been curious. Yeah, but I think she was like kind of a, a hoe. I don't think I would want to. Yeah, that is, that is true. I, feel I like forgot she, about that. I feel like if she had an OnlyFans, there's a reason she has it. And I wouldn't that support it. So that I don't think true. I could pay for it. That is true. Good good call. Good call. All right. Number two. Now, what sucks? Uh, I just got shot. Is there a skeleton <laughs> out here? It's daytime. He's hiding in the trees, man. I'm telling you, it's the Viet Cong. And I need, I don't know where I don't even see him. I don't either. That's so weird. <laughs> I just got shot and I don't know where he's at. Are they above in the tree? Okay, I'm just going to keep on doing it. Okay, so. So, <laughs> we know about this person and she has some sass to her. Yeah. Let's say she was $9.99 a month. Okay, you know, so as much as I would want to, because for a tiny girl, she has some massive jugs. <laughs> but, like, she was a true friend, you mm -hmm. know, and I don't think I could ruin that, like you said, for your number three. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm going to say no. And now for the big finale, I have a good whopping, yes. whopping, <laughs> whopping 
twenty four ninety nine a month. She would be expensive, wouldn't she? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see what I did here, man, though? <clears throat> I want to say uh, probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, there we go. You know, her her dad died. I think she needs the money. Oh, shit. So. <laughs> COVID? So, I don't know, actually, but I just remember he passed away. and Damn. She put it all over her social which I think is something personal. You probably shouldn't blast it on mm-hmm. social media. Yeah, that is that is true. I remember, kind of like I remember this, this Instagram influencer posted herself in her like funeral clothes. She, you know, she did. She looked. She did look pretty hot, but she, but she took the selfie in front of her dad's casket. Okay, yeah, that's kind of messed up. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll find that picture. <laughs> I'll find that picture for you. If I if I do find it, I'll post it right now. If, you it's, know, if it's if it's if it's not on screen, then it's just a random picture of like something because I couldn't find it. But anyway, you know, we, we kind of I think we went off a little off topic, but we went, okay. we went we went we went back to episode three, and this would have been great for episode three. But I freaking was like, I don't know what the hell's going on here. But anyway, Zach, I feel like that's a good stopping point, wouldn't you say? What just ended yeah, there? it's not too long. I was I was thinking this was gonna be a two episode error one, but I think no. I can make it all one episode. No, no, this is definitely one episode. But Deck, and all in all, what are your final words for for this whole entire thing spiel that I've been doing? You know, I my final words would be patience mm. is key. Mm. You can't plan life events like this. Mm-hmm. They will happen when they happen, and they'll happen in the most unexpected way possible. Mm-hmm. So I don't think you should have, I don't know, these expectations that aren't hard to live up to, but <laughs> mm-hmm. may not happen the way you want them. Yeah. You can't plan love. No, you can't. You can't. That's a th- and that's a that's a toughy thing. And then you know, you know, if it if it was that easy, and, we, we would be we'd be golden men. Right now, but and I also want to say, I'm like, sometimes you got to be a man whore and just fuck plow these women. Damn, my co workers support that theory of plowing. Say be a, yes, damn, you have you have every man's dream situation. Most guys just want to hit it and quit it, and you want a relationship. These women you are going after do not want a relationship. Yeah, they just true. want sex. You have the perfect opportunity to hit it mm-hmm. and quit it. Wow. That's crazy. That's all I have to say. That is crazy. No, and no disrespect to women. <laughs> we'll see That's about, what I have to say. We'll see about that after this after this thing. Yeah, yeah, and I've accomplished nothing in this uh, Minecraft world. I built a farm. I have, I have been getting wood. <laughs> My whole gameplay has been getting wood because we were surrounded by wooden wood. pyramid. We'll do it like the OG world, dude. Instead of dirt, it'd be wood. Uh, well, anyway, okay. guys, thank you so much for <laughs> listening to today's podcast. If you haven't already, make sure to give us a like, subscribe to both of our channels. Please help me out with views on me. I'm getting tired of Zach. Check out Mr. Cap Cap Gaming. It's actually Cap Cap. I guess it's gaming. It's no, when you still look up your name, it's Mr. Yeah, Cap yeah, Cap yeah, yeah. Because that's because that's what I have my channel you are as. <laughs> but it is Cap Cap. Yeah, yeah. And it, mine is it Guess is It's Cap Cap, and his is Guess Guess It's Gaming. But thank but you. not the other one. There's a there's a yeah. There's so many other ones. Somebody no. Somebody else made one like. A month ago, and they have a cool ass logo, and I want it. <laughs> and when you look at them up, they look, and they pop up first, which is kind of bogus, yeah. but okay. But anyway, guys, what the? There's a sheep in here. Okay, that's not. I'll let Zach. you. I'll let you close that's out. Now. I'll Zach. let you close out now. Thank you guys so much for listening. We all, we both appreciate every one of you that that listens, give us likes and comments. It means a lot that there are some people that out there that like to listen to our rambles. But anyway. I'm Cap Kev. You can call me Kevin. Over there is Zach Attack. That's Zach. And we'll see you next time.